doing the top 13 TV shows of 2013. Yeah! Hello, I'm Christine. This is where we count down my top 13 TV shows of this year that are still on the air. I'm trying to order them from my least favorite to my favorite. Let's do it! Breaking Bad! Oh man! It's off the air now. It just ended. Cinematography wise, writing wise, acting wise, plot wise, it's mind-blowingly awesome. It's on Netflix. If you don't know the premise at all, it's about a chemistry teacher who gets cancer and he doesn't have money to pay for his chemo and he doesn't have enough money to leave his family if he dies. He doesn't want to leave them with nothing. So he starts dealing meth. Actually cooking meth. Things get intense pretty really fast. A lot of people have said it's the best show on television and that's a really strong argument. Like I can't disagree that it's the best show on television. Is it my favorite show on television? No, but quality wise, <laughs> shit. It's hard to compete with Breaking Bad. Did you guys know they're doing a spinoff Better Call Saul? Saul is getting his own spinoff show. Revenge on ABC. Now, if you haven't watched Revenge yet and you need something to binge watch on Netflix, this is a nice choice. It is so addicting, especially the first season. The second season, it kind of hits a rough patch in the beginning, then it picks up again, and the beginning of the third season was like, whoa. It's a very high quality soap opera. That's what Revenge is. I just, I love it. I love Nolan. Nolan is my favorite. <laughs> It's a classic Survivor. I thought that I got tired of Survivor around like season 14. Then I picked back up and I was like, oh my god, I love Survivor. Survivor is a game. It's strategy. It's outwit, outlast, outplay. It's so much fun to watch. I don't think I'd be able to survive on it. I always say that I want to be on Survivor, but I would definitely die of starvation because I can't go three hours without getting lightheaded. But I love it. I love Survivor. It's on season like 22 or something. But this season is Blood vs. Water. Everyone came in pairs. It was a previous player and one of their loved ones. So their husband, their brother, their daughter. When they got there, they split them up onto separate teams. So they're all fighting their loved ones. And it's so interesting to see the dynamics because it's like, sometimes they have to go up against each other and like, oh my God, it's so good. Survivor, I love Survivor. <laughs> Orphan Black. It's on the BBC, so if you're here in America, I mean it probably plays on BBC America, but it already played, so I found it on the internet. I'm sure you could too. This show is so cool. There, there was a human clone study. The clones were scattered throughout the world, and they didn't know that they were clones, and they're running into each other. And let me tell you, the actress. There's one actress who plays all these different versions of the clones, and she is insane. She's so talented. I'm really excited for her to come back. It probably won't be back for a while because it's a BBC show and they take forever to make their new season. Community number nine. Orange is the New Black, and this is a Netflix original series. If you're unaware, Netflix is now creating original series, and what Netflix is doing with its original shows is creating an entire season and then throwing it on Netflix so we can all binge watch it right after it comes out, which is so much fun. The show's not really for kids. I would say it kind of reminds me of an HBO show. So if you're really young, don't go watching that. But if you're not, I would go for it. It takes place in a woman's prison. Uh, I don't really want to tell you the backstory because it kind of spoils some stuff. And there's all different sorts of crap going on. Orange is the new black. I've had some nightmares about being in prison myself, but still, worth the watch. Worth it. Number eight is the newsroom. The new is an HBO show. It's written and created by Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of him. He wrote The West Wing. He wrote The Social Network. I just love this show. It always warms my heart. I have cried so many times watching it. A cry of happiness. Emotional overload. And it takes place in a newsroom. And, and I've never been in a newsroom. And it's so interesting to see how things work in there. And how hectic and chaotic it is. It's on HBO. Find it on the internet. Really great shows can be downers. Breaking Bad. Some of those episodes are really depressing. They're great, but they're depressing. Newsroom is like, oh! Coming in at number seven, 
Welcome to Modern Family! I've done two versions of this video before, one in 2010 and one in 2011, and Modern Family has been on both those lists and it's still on my list. It's a comedy on ABC, I'm sure you've heard of it. It wins Emmys every year and I always think they deserve them. Usually multiple, multiple people on the show are nominated. It's so good. It always makes me cry. I don't know, like, family being really sweet just always gets to me. Every character's funny. Phil, I think, is the funniest. <laughs> Downton Abbey! I thought I wouldn't like Downton Abbey. I actually started Downton Abbey and thought I didn't like Downton Abbey. You have to, you have to at least get to the end of the first episode of Downton Abbey and maybe watch, like, two more. Uh, <laughs> Well, it takes place in the early 1900s in England. It just, it's so addicting! You really get to see a lot of growth and development in so many characters. It's so interesting and so well written. It's fabulous. I don't even know what else to say. It's so good. Game of Thrones! <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it. It's on HBO. It's based on the best-selling book series by George R. R. Martin. No, I haven't read the book, and no, I don't plan on reading the books because I love the show and I don't want to be spoiled. If you're a youngin, I don't recommend watching it yet. But if you're not a youngin, very, very wow. It's just so good. It's so well done. You probably already know what it's about. It's fantastic. Let's see. Favorite characters: Daenerys, Stormborn. <laughs> At number four, The Walking Dead. That show always has me on edge. It always is exciting. It's on AMC. I believe it's still live streaming on Netflix. Most of these things are on Netflix nowadays, which is fabulous. If you don't have Netflix, I recommend Netflix. At number three, I have New Girl. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's Jess. Yeah, I'm not Jess. I thought I didn't like New Girl, and I don't know why I got that in my head. So stupid. This show is so good. New Girl is on Fox, if you did not know. It's also on Netflix. It just makes me so happy. They're so funny. It's another show where the creator always likes to end it on a high note. If you need a comedy in your life, go watch the New Girl. Go watch it. My number two is one of my very favorite shows. It's been my very favorite for a while. The Vampire Diaries. I'm so invested in The Vampire Diaries and in every character in The Vampire Diaries. There's so many twists and ga moments and emotional moments. I just still love it, guys. It's going into the fifth season. I still love the show. If you haven't heard my Vampire Diaries spiel, the cast is just the most attractive group of people. The show is just the craziest, twisty, turniest roller coaster of emotions. I highly recommend it. You have to give it four episodes, okay? So if you're gonna start watching it, don't you give up until you've gotten past four. It's on Netflix. Just do it. <laughs> My top show for 2013, my favorite, is Parks and Rec. <laughs> this show just makes me the happiest. I just hear the theme song and I'm like, <laughs> plus it's hilarious. I love the style it's in. I love every character is hilarious. There's no characters that are kind of funny, but not as funny as the other characters. No. Amy Poehler is the lead. Leslie Nope. I mean, come on, you cannot love this show. It's on Netflix, so you should watch it. This is my top recommendation, comedy-wise. If you're not finding the first six episodes hilarious, stick with it, because come second season, they knock it up about ten notches, and it's the best. Oh, so good. Feel free to share your favorite shows with me. What would we do without Netflix? Everything would just not be as awesome. Like, do you remember the days? You probably don't even, because most of you are really young. Do you remember the days where, like, you had to put a VHS in and record if you weren't going to be home to watch it? Like, I remember recording Survivor when I went to dance class when I was, like, 10, and, and having to come back and watch it after. And if you didn't record it, you missed it. You missed that episode. You couldn't watch it. I'm Christine. Share your favorites. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.